folks. So today I'm going to be unloading a M&R gauntlet six color eight station press that I purchased from another printer here in Houston. Um, I'm real happy uh, with this as the press was local. The shop I bought it from, they run a great operation. This press is just surplus and they've outgrown it. It's perfect for me in starting my own screen printing company. So I've taken it completely apart because I need to keep it in my garage for a few weeks until it's ready to go into my shop. So first things first, I'm gonna work on getting the hold down straps while I'm waiting for one of my buddies to come over and help me get this thing out of here. So, hope you find this video interesting. If you um, like my video, be sure to subscribe and be sure to hit the thumbs up. And if you don't, well, happy trails. Now, normally I would tell you, you need a box truck to move a press, but I have this issue where I don't have a forklift at my house and I don't have a place to keep a forklift at my business. So I opted to do it this way, where I'm using trailer because my shop is two feet, uh, my loading dock is two feet off the ground, it's half height dock and the beautiful part about this is u-haul trailers are 16 inches so with the tailgate it'll slide right into the shop no problem but I'm not working on that today and I've got to get it down into my garage so a truck just would have been a disaster um, the press is too big to sit comfortably on a lift gate that I can get on a rental truck all right so first things first because this press is completely broken down I've got the pallet arms or the platen arms in the front of the trailer and I've got the print heads in the back. It just worked out. It was easier to load it that way. So all the stuff's got to come out. <clears throat> so my friend Josh is going to help me get this stuff out and uh, first thing we're going to do is we're going to move one of the print heads off of this flash unit so we can roll the flash unit out. All right. So you want to grab the other side. Oh, you need to do it from the outside. No, that's good. Good. And then I want to just basically stack the print heads back out of the way. Yep. We might as well start with the with the not so nice one. <coughs> All right, maybe that one. Oh wait. No, nah, the other one's sitting on top of it. Got it? Whoa. What happened? It turned on me. Oh. Alright. Alright. Oh, they don't have to be yeah, nested here. They only they were only nested for shipping. Um, and I'm filming this on YouTube by the way. From there. Alright, let's get this one next. What's up? Try both bags. I know it's in there. Okay. Yeah. Look on the bright side, it's not even hot out. Oh, I know, right? Beautiful weather for this, and this can just go next to the flash. I literally just hung up curtains yeah. in the living room. So let's get this ring. Noticeable difference. And I'm just gonna put, we can just put this over here until we figure out what to actually do with it. Okay. 
And now it's not going to be hot enough. Yeah, give it time. And we will do bad things to plywood. That should work. What we'll do is we'll move this in stages. I just happen to inch it past the um, the ridges. It sucks, but this is just how it goes. That's fine. But it's nice to get us trying to force it on the first go and then it's not going to down as good. Yeah. All right, so I'm going to back up and hit this again. All right, so I want to swing that over around towards me. Um, yeah, just, I'm not worried about that. I just can't, I didn't realize I was sticking out. What I'm trying to do is position this to turn it around. I want the, um, you want this out? yeah, I, I can't see my clearances and I'm trying to, okay. if you... from this way. yeah, I need to spin this all the way around. No, well, what I'm trying to do is, um, drop this because I want the pallet jack on the other side. Oh. Yeah, it just it requires way more space than it looks like it does. Would you grab my feet and pull them towards you? Yep. You're here? Mm-hmm. Or better yet, can you just pick it up? There we go. Perfect. Right. And then I'm going to, sorry, I'm, I'm really not chasing you with it. Uh -huh. It just requires a lot more space than people realize to maneuver one of these things. And presses are not designed to go in spaces this small. No, no, this is storage until it goes into the shop. So when is it going to uh, as soon as I get the clearance of the shops ready, so probably October 1st. Okay. Hopefully before then. All right. Yeah, and just, I'm going to, you can swing it towards me. I'm going to try and nest this in here because I just don't have a lot of space. Yeah. Clear. Almost. A little bit more. All right. I actually think I can push in here further. No, not anymore. I want to hit. All right. All right, and then first things first, I want to pull a power cord over and plug this press in because these computers are not easy to replace and it needs to stay plugged in. Wait a second, did that say their name on it? Nope, 
Let's just copyright. All right, so computer's still good. Press is in the garage, and I've still got space around it, which is even more amazing. Okay, just when it didn't seem like I could get any more stuff in here, I've managed to stuff a gauntlet press in here with a MaxiCure dryer and an MSP3140 exposure unit and two seven and a half horsepower compressors and a quartz flash and all the other junk that I already had in here. It's getting tight in here. So it's only for a few weeks, so I'm making really good use of my available space by stacking my platen arms up on top of the press. It's not ideal, but it's a good place for them to sit for the time being and get them out of the way. And, um, you know, next what I need to do is bring in my uh, print arms and get them in here nice and stacked and nested. I have no idea how that's going to work, but we'll see here in a minute. It's amazing how much space there is in here. What am I stuck on? Oh, I'm trying to push it over. I can't. Oh, there. Okay, that's. I was like, what the hell? Now what am I stuck on? Oh, it's stuck on that. All right, lift it up. Oh no, that's not gonna work. No nope. shit. But you know what? This hole. All right, lift it up again. All right. Inches matter. Okay, so we're gonna try and stick this in here and we'll just see what happens. We may be coming right back out with it. Pick it up for me. A little bit more. Oh, all right, let's see what that does. You know what, that's okay. Yeah, it can rest on the rails. Yeah. Cause those are linear bearings. This motherfucker eats grease like nobody's business. But that gets it up out of the way. Yep. All right, so, and that leaves us these to build another platform out of over here. Oh. See what you mean? I think let's just set it down for a second. Up there would be wonderful, but this shit would have to come out of the way. You know, it almost could go where it's at. Because we're certainly not gonna be able to do anything with it until, oh, you're gonna knock everything over. Yeah, that'll work. It'll protect everything, uh-huh, sure. Uh, some of those can go in the house, but not right now. This might collapse if it... That's okay. It's just a part cardboard box. Mm -hmm. All right. So I think we have successfully stored everything in here. Holy crap. Uh, that can go over here. And then this is going to have to go out back. Right, so I hope you have enjoyed watching my video as I demonstrate just how much junk you can get into a garage. Um, in all seriousness, this is just temporary storage for two, three weeks, and I'm really gr grateful that I have a garage that's big enough to be able to get all this in here. Um, most of what's in this garage is coming out um, in order to go into the shop, and um, it's really just amazing that I was able to get everything crammed in here. Um, it's going to make for a heck of a lot of fun when it's time to put it back together, but in the meanwhile, 
Uh, it's pretty amazing that it all fits. So I hope you've enjoyed my video and found it entertaining and informational. Please uh, subscribe to my channel and uh, if you enjoyed the video, please click the like button. Have a great day and uh, see you around soon.